Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Um, your messages could be there. So it seems like uh, there's a very stubborn energy here. Okay, um, It feels like somebody... Um, <clears throat> Something, there was a conflict between you, unable to agree uh, on something. We're seeing things differently because the club is here, okay? So, um, there was, <clears throat> excuse me, there was some uh, drama that took place here. Uh, somebody, uh, it has to do with deep emotions, a trigger perhaps for this person. Something touched a nerve with this person and they did something reckless. Um, they, their pride could have been stung, uh, but what made matters worse was, uh, was something that happened to them a long time ago. It's like it, it becomes fresh and new again in their mind with this trigger. Um, so things did not uh, did not grow or expand. There was no uh, no forward movement here. Uh, somebody could feel down on their luck here. Something uh, feels very unfair or it felt very unfair. Uh, this this conflict has already happened more than likely because this represents after the storm. Um, in the Six of Cups energy reversed. So uh, after the storm, uh, somebody is trying to heal or wants to, or, or still wants to try to heal this or they're trying to heal themselves or both. Um, uh, but they are emotionally stuck in the past on that situation. So it's like they can't get it off their mind. Uh, they want to heal it. This could also be somebody's emotional baggage, uh, which would explain uh, the Knight of Swords and this uh, irrational behavior. Uh, and of course, coming with that Nine of Cups, we know that there was some hidden emotional issue, uh, that something that lay hidden behind that curtain there. And so uh, this, this is a question of somebody holding back from healing uh, a situation, possibly because their pride has been stung. Even if they know that they were wrong in taking that action that they did, they may not want to admit it. They're, this is somebody very, very prideful. Um, and there's a deeper issue as to why they did react the way they did and a deeper issue as to uh, where, uh, where all that anger was coming from. It, it goes much deeper because the Hierophant is here on the death card. Okay, so we know it goes back a fair ways. And there's... Um, There's a warning here I'm seeing uh, because on this card, this is the, the wounded warrior typically, but if you'll notice, he's not yet wounded on this card, okay? And so, but he is facing a challenge, okay? Um, he feels like somebody may have crossed a boundary with him. He feels uh, maybe he's got trust issues. Uh, that could be the wolf in sheep's clothing type of energy, right? Um, and so <clears throat> it feels like because we have this stubborn energy sitting on top of it, uh, somebody who... Uh, cannot let go of something. Okay, so here's the warning. 
the warning because it's coming with this death card. So with the death card, we know that something needs to change. It's possibly something in their deep past that they need to look at. But the warning is that uh, that this this is only being stubborn, uh, sitting in this stubborn energy, not willing to let go or not willing to see something possibly um, could make matters worse because a wound is yet to happen if they continue in this stubborn energy. And we know that this person is very prideful. We have it right here. Okay? So we know they're very prideful. Their pride is stung because of uh, some uh, information that uh, they received, uh, possibly, that made them very upset, very angry. It hit a nerve. Uh, it's something they, they haven't been able, or it, it's a reflection of something that they haven't been able to let go of. I feel like because of a past issue, uh, this person, um, a past issue, emotional baggage, this person, it, it's why, it's the deeper issue as to why uh, they are holding a, a, a grudge or that they're holding back, maybe even not willing to, maybe they know they're wrong, but they're not willing to admit it to you. Or they know that they did wrong, but are not yet willing. Yeah. This person, um, this person had a feeling that uh, they have a feeling that something wouldn't work out or won't work out. It's what's at the root. So maybe, maybe uh, they shut you out in the cold because they got angry. They may have abruptly ended it and then disappeared. And now uh, after the, you know, this calm has come in because in, in the upright there was a calm before the storm a time to regroup now it's in the reverse you know and but uh, they may suspect trouble ahead okay because they have to step back out into the storm now here they were healing here they were regrouping here in the reverse they must now take what they've uh what they've uh, rearranged or, or the adjustments they've made and go back out into that storm. That's what uh, they need to do. And there's some self-doubt here, um, some maybe uh, bad feelings that maybe you won't let them back in. So there's self-doubt. Uh, this person has a lot of insecurities. Uh, maybe they're trying to gather the courage to do this. In the beginning, it's like they felt that something was very unfair, but it's like now they're, they're, they're feeling they've been unfair to you. There's a realization of this, but there's still ghosts from the past that haunt this person. And they're, uh, so they're afraid to come forward, what I see here. They're afraid that maybe uh, they might get their heart broken, you know. Um, and, and so this really slows down uh, this, this uh, reconciliation or this happy event I see over here in the future is being really slowed down, delayed, put off, because somebody is being extremely careful and extremely guarded 
about approaching this or even how to approach it because this fellow here he has a plan and he has a backup plan and he has a backup plan for the backup plan and this again is because of these uh, this deeper emotional issue about relationships and commitments and um, feelings and uh, their inability because of past baggage uh, to see the truth really I feel so something something needs to change we have the uh, uh, um, the grave card here which is uh, death again and it is over here something needs to change and the tower is somebody who uh, they're sitting in their tower and trying to get a bigger view of uh, the situation they're lonely they're tired of being alone they're wishing here uh, for something in the future and they have this uh, they're at this crossroads here okay um, I see that we are looking at a unicorn here uh, who's trying to choose a direction I feel like uh, there's a realization that you are a very rare find with that unicorn being there. I feel like this person has uh, reached the point where there's a realization that change is necessary and that, uh, that they need to, uh, to do something. Because this is not getting them... Uh, it's not going to get them anywhere, you know. Um, they're just living in uh, or will be because of uh, the fact that we, we already received a warning with this card. It's already giving them a warning that to stay in this stubborn energy uh, uh, because we have this stubborn card here, somebody being stubborn about returning, okay, to work through these issues, um, that this is just going to result in more pain for them. If they don't make this move, if they don't uh, make this change that needs to be made. This person could also have fear of abandonment with that five of coins there. fear of taking a risk because they've been hurt or because of emotional baggage this is um, so it's like they're they're playing this waiting game or they have been uh, maybe waiting uh, on something to come and save them or rescue them when in fact they really need to rescue themselves and, th and maybe that's it maybe there's a realization that well Nobody's coming to rescue me. I'm going to have to do something. Because uh, change is needed here. And so with that realization, uh, you have a very happy event in your future. So this is with death, uh, being able to uh, turn the page and how can they turn the page by looking back at where they've been and and uh, and looking at the choices that brought them to where they are looking at the consequences seeing the consequences of the actions of the past and wanting to make new choices now taking a new approach to things here in the future learning from uh, these uh, past mistakes or a past mistake here. And so this card here in this position marks the end of a conflict. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching. 
for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.